Liv. Today I have a healthy holiday recipes video for you. So these recipes are not meant to be something that you would like take to a holiday dinner or make for Christmas dinner or whatever. They're kind of just holiday themed recipes to have around the holiday times like now. Um, so I will be doing a video that is traditional or more traditional vegan holiday recipes that you would bring to a dinner or make for your holiday dinner but for now these are just some healthy holiday themed recipes for you. Before we get started I just wanted to mention that I posted a vegan gift guide video on my second channel so you can find that either on my main page right here or I will link the video in the description box but that is everything I have to say for now so let's get into the video. This salad recipe is the best I have ever made. So first you're just going to cut up some butternut squash. So I used a full squash that I would have leftovers to make a few salads. And you're just gonna chop it up and then cut the peels off. So you can either peel it first or just peel it after. And then once it's chopped up, you're going to put it on a parchment lined baking sheet. And this is optional, but I added a drizzle of garlic olive oil and then a sprinkle of curry powder. And then just mix that up and you're going to bake it at 425 for about 30 to 40 minutes. It kind of depends how big your pieces are. So just check it after about 30 minutes. And then once it's done, once it kind of looks like this and it's really soft when you stick a fork in it, you're going to add some chunks of bread. So this is my boyfriend totally struggling to help me out with this. Um, I just told them to put the bread on the pan and this is what I get. So anyways, um, then you're gonna put it back in the oven for a few minutes to toast it. Then just add some greens to a bowl. So I use spinach, obviously. And then add the squash and bread pieces on top. Then I added some pomegranate and a tahini dressing. So the way you make this is you just mix tahini with maple syrup and lemon juice and I'll put a little recipe below if you want that. And then I just topped it with some black sesame seeds. And this salad, it doesn't even feel like you're eating salad. It's so hearty and comforting and delicious. And yeah, it is just so festive tasting. I absolutely love it. So for the burger, the first thing you need to do is cook some lentils. So add three quarters of a cup of lentils to a pot with a cup and a half of water. And you can just Google how to cook lentils properly, but basically all I do is just bring it to a boil and then simmer it until all the water is absorbed. So then in a food processor, you're going to shred one medium carrot. Then you're going to add about eight button mushrooms, one stalk of celery, and then just pulse that in the food processor until it's pretty finely chopped, but you don't want it to be pureed, so it should look a little bit like this. So you can use dried herbs, but I find that using fresh herbs is the best thing ever for this burger. So I used about, once it was all chopped, about a tablespoon of fresh sage, and then I also did um, about half a tablespoon of fresh thyme. So with the thyme, I just use my fingers to pull off all the little needles like this. But if you're using dried herbs, I would say about a teaspoon of each would be fine. And then I just took my chef's knife again and I chopped them a little bit more because I wanted them to be chopped pretty finely. And then I chopped about a quarter cup of the tips of spring onions. So then add the burger mix to a bowl. And then you're going to add the spices and onions and give it a quick stir. By this time the lentils should be cooked, so you're just going to add that to the bowl as well. So then you're going to add a flax egg, and this is pretty much an egg replacement. So all you do to make this is you add one tablespoon of ground flax seeds with three tablespoons of water, and you just let it sit for like five to ten minutes in the fridge. And then you're going to add about a third of a cup of oats. So let this sit for about five minutes and then if you notice that your mixture isn't sticking together very well, you can add another flax egg and like a quarter cup of flour um, because obviously everyone's gonna have different results when they're making veggie burgers, just using different vegetables and all that. So just kind of make sure that your burger mixture is going to stick together before you make the patties. So if you need to add more flax egg or more flour, definitely do that. 
So then you're just going to form patties with your hands and put it on a parchment lined baking sheet. So like I said, if your mixture isn't sticking together at this point, you're really gonna want to add something to it because they should be sticking together like these ones. So to make the gravy, add a cup and a half of vegetable stock, a tablespoon of tahini, a quarter cup of soy sauce, and stir that all up. Then I added a little bit of fresh thyme, a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, and some black pepper, and then just a little drizzle of maple syrup, but that's optional. So then you're just going to simmer this on the stove until it thickens and make sure you watch it because the bottom will start to thicken first, so keep whisking it. And then at the end, you can just add a tablespoon or two of nutritional yeast. It's optional, but it gives it a really amazing flavor. And it should thicken up and turn into a nice gravy brown color like this. So to assemble the burger, you're just going to add some cranberry sauce to a bun. Then you're going to add some greens, so again I used spinach, then add one of the patties and top it with some gravy. It tastes like Thanksgiving and Christmas in a burger and what more could you want? So for the muesli, you're going to add some oats, about a cup or two of oats into a bowl, a handful of pumpkin seeds, and a drizzle of maple syrup or some other liquid sweetener, and then just a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Um, so this is what we are going to be toasting. This is kind of like the little granola part of the muesli, I guess. So just put that on, again, a parchment lined baking sheet. And you are going to cook this on about 300 Fahrenheit until it's toasted. And then you are going to add it back into the same bowl. You don't need to wash it or anything. And then you are going to add some cereal. So you can add like corn flakes, or I use these Nature's Path brand flax flakes. <laughs> um, and then some dried cranberries, some nuts, cashews, or pecans would be really good in this. And then just mix that up and store it in a glass jar. And you can put this on smoothie bowls, on um, use it as cereal, you can have it with like nut milk and some coconut yogurt, like you can honestly have this with whatever you want and it's really just super filling and hearty and a really good snack or a meal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you make these definitely tag me on Instagram at Liv's Healthy Life. Also don't forget to check out my vegan holiday gift guide, it is linked below in the description box. If you have any questions or comments as always you can leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>